What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Field from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com. Welcome to another edition of Learn How to Sample Life with the good folks over at TrackLib, where we are investigating sample flipping, crate digging, and production techniques of the great ones. In this episode, the great legendary DJ Premier. So let's get into it. <laughs> don't know about TrackLib, it's a great sampling resource for you to go ahead and crate dig and get your samples licensed and cleared, hassle-free, subscription-based, and very simple to use. I recommend this, especially if you are serious about putting your music out there and you want to be legit. You don't want to worry about getting sued. This is definitely the way to go. Let's talk about Premier. Now, if you don't know about DJ Premier, you need to learn him like immediately, especially if you are into the boom bap. He is essential <laughs> for boom bap music. For those that don't know, Primo samples a lot of library music, and that's the direction we want to go into. I want to show you a different way of digging on TrackLib. For those that don't know, you know, I've been covering different styles, and I'll leave a link if you want to see other producers I've covered. But if you go to the blog on TrackLib, they always talk about different record labels. And you want to study these labels because these labels have their own sound. So it is just another way of digging because certain, like, like for example, Motown, that has a certain sound. Now, Motown is not on here. I'll just say that as an example. But, <laughs> you know, there's tons of different labels that you can just go to and dig that way. To discover the labels, you just go to labels on the left and then scroll down and just explore. So for example, when it comes to library music, one great label that does that, that covers that, is Cavendish Archive, the Cavendish. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> this is music production music, films and TV music, that kind of thing. So once you get to a label, a sample library label that is, do some filtering. So we'll use classical, folk, jazz, and R&B soul. And we want to use the years between 1930 through 1979. And these are the type of things that come up. Mm. So as you can see, there's a lot to choose from, guys, man. I'm telling you. Also, I'm going to need some drums, so I'll pick me some drums out. And the way you can do that, just go to Collections and type in Drums. And boom, here you have it. Boom, bap drums. Click on that. Dig, go through what you want. <laughs> you get the picture. And another thing about Primo, see, I have to say this. Look for samples that make your head nod. If your head ain't nodding, just go to something else. <laughs> I haven't heard one primo beat that doesn't make my head nod, so that's key. So let me go over some of the samples that I found. Come on, come on now. I love that because it also had the voice in it, and we'll talk about that. And also this for my main sample. Once you find what you like, move on to your DAW or your weapon of choice, whatever. I'm inside Logic, and let's start with the drums. You see, th this is a very long track, but I just needed a kick, snare, and hi-hat. You know, we keeping it simple. And one thing about Primo is he chops up individual sounds to create his own pattern. He really doesn't loop, so I did not take a drum loop. I just chopped up individual pieces to create my own pattern. For example, you can see this entire <laughs> song, I only took a kick out of that. See that? That's a snare, hi-hat, and kick. So I just took those individual sounds and then I kind of tweaked them, you know, just filter, 
pitch things around that kind of thing very simple and another thing about primo is his drums always knock man you're gonna have to put some type of compressor on there what i did was use something called new york compression now you could be lazy like me and just use something like this <laughs> shout out to baby audio and just use iheart new york compression just slap that on there listen to the difference now just add some more spank to it you know this is without it with it it just puts some more body to it now if you don't have that you know let me just show you so i have the aux track down here which is my compressor and i just chose a template classic drums and see over here i can crank as much of that mix onto the drums that's what parallel compression is so let me turn this all the way down and watch as I gradually turn it up. So that's another way you can do it. Next thing I did was add these little bells. Check this out. <laughs> that reminded me of one of my favorite, favorite all time DJ Premier beats, man. I'm sure y'all know Crooklyn. For those that don't know, you know, he, he has some type of percussion that just hypnotizes you, man. So think about that. You use something that hypnotizes you. Cricklin Dodger. That's where that inspiration came from. Let's go to the vocal because that's actually a part of the same sample. Come on, come on now. That come on. Before the drums comes in. I went ahead and just chopped those, come on, come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I sampled it onto my SP. Come on, come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And then I just threw a little delay effect on it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I thought that would be a nice dope element because Primo definitely uses vocals or vocal chops, especially when he's scratching. Now I'm not a DJ, I'm not a turntablist, but he likes to scratch in vocals. I just decided to, you know, do it this way and you'll see what I'm talking about. I wanted to sound more vintage, so a great way to do that is just adding vinyl. Now you can use plugins. I've talked about this before. In this case, I went back to my SP and I sampled Vinyl Sim, which is MFX 16. Right? So I just sampled that. That's all I did. Just just sampled it in there. <laughs> so I made it into a loop. You can always just sample a real actual record and just do it that way too, like the beginning before the music comes in. That's another way. If you don't want to use plugins, and there's tons of plugins out. This is, again, why you should listen to the entire song, guys, because <laughs> Primo is a left-field guy. He's not your typical producer. He won't take the obvious thing. Like, the obvious thing would be this. That would be the obvious thing, but I, you know, I decided, you know, I came across these chops right here. And that was like in the middle of the song. Primo has like that stab style, just taking pieces and then create his own thing. So these are the chops that I took. And then I also transposed it, I slowed it down a little bit. Sounds like this. So it's like, what, what's going on? It's, he chooses things like, you don't know what's going on, but it's about to be funky. I use this section for a hook. See that little chop? I'm not taking a loop. I'm actually taking little pieces and use them how I want to use it. That's like my hook. Now when it comes to bass, keep it simple. I'm just doing like single notes, man. Use like a nice warm sounding bass, a nice filtered bass, and that will go with the drums. Again, you wanna leave a lot of space too because the thing about Primo is his pocket is so crazy so rappers can do whatever they want and it's gonna sound dope because he gives them the room. You don't want, his beats are never really, really busy. They're simple, but funky. So that's the bass line I did. Again, I'm not a turntablist, but when it comes to scratching, I like to use my MPC 500, and I do have a video talking about exactly how I do that. And so what I did was I used that track down here, and 
-hmm. I like to use it right during the vocals. So like right before the vocals comes in. So for example, <laughs> you know, I'm just taking my MPC 500. You see what I'm saying? Just little random scratches. <laughs> and the other thing is use space. So when the drums are in, something like this, come out back in on the snare. Something like that. that. That's a great technique to use to, to really get that boom bap feel. And we're going to go from the top, pay attention to all the techniques. Let's go. <laughs> have it man so if you like this video hit that thumbs up button more videos on the way don't forget to subscribe and also i will leave a special link for you where you can get 15 tracks for free try these techniques out man we would love to hear what you do and let me know what other producers you would like me to cover it's your man jay Phil. i'll see y'all next time i'm sending peace and positive energy